Yeah. Okay. Soft tackle, fly. It's uh, tied up. 1182, 14, Diachi hook. It's uh, brown dubbing, but I've also used... Uh, Breathe toward the hook there. I've also used uh, peacock curl as the the body behind the, the hackle, and then some partridge hackle. You could also, by the hook. You could also use uh, starling cane or starling feathers. I've also tied it with uh, red quail feathers, but red quail feathers are pretty, pretty thin on the stem. A bit of thread on the hook. Always cut above. A little bit of wire, put it on the top. And, and this this fly, uh, I tie it this size on down to so 18 or 20. It's great for fishing uh, caddis hatches. Fish it across, let it sink, swing it, and strip it just about an inch or two inches every time. Throw it in, a, throw it in places that are kind of obvious places where nice fishies yeah. would be hiding. And, uh, hold on, because set, it sets the hook for you. So you add weight to that uh, besides just the, the wire? Nope, generally not. I mean, you could if you wanted to get it down faster, but I, if, I, if I wanted to go deeper, I'd just throw a couple of uh, loose men's into the line as it's uh, when I throw the line over or cast a little further upstream, throw some men's into it so it sinks and then uh, just work it so that it's, as it starts to come up, is most of the time when fish hit it. I've had it, but I've also had fish hit it when it's uh, first hit the water, so it's, uh, it's not always the truth, but most of the time they hit it when the that curve swinging back up towards the top. I've got the the wire tied in over the thread. Now add a little dubbing. Jim here working the camera has also seen me tie it with a peacock curl, which actually ties it a little faster if you're in a hurry. Adds that nice green color if you've got uh, put some dubbing on the thread. Twist it on there. A little spit on it if you want to make it stay on there a little better. Build up a little body like that. This hair sticking out here so it kind of bothers me a little bit. Like, yeah. Is that just a thorax there? That yeah, the dubbing is going to make a thorax, which is going to help hold the, uh, the feathers up and out. Because without this thorax, it's good. It makes it look more buggy as well. Without the thorax, the feathers in the water would collapse all around the hook, and it wouldn't have that that life motion to it that we're looking for. Okay. You find yourself in nice, uh, useless stuff. Put it, put it down close to the hook there. There you go. It's got all this useless stuff on it, so I'm going to pull it out. Pull it off. Maybe don't be in such a hurry this time. No, I don't do pot. Well, wow. okay. there's a really good book on this fly. It's uh, Dave Hughes has a real good book on wet flies. Dave Hughes. Dave Hughes. It's called Wet Flies, Nymphs, and Flimps, or something like that. I got my copy used off Amazon. When I got it, amazingly, it had come from the Wasilla Library, Wasilla, Alaska. Isn't that where, uh, from this paler? Isn't that where, uh, and it had been donated. Um, this is sometimes hard to wind. You can wind it with your fingers sometimes, but tonight I'm gonna I'm gonna use a lot of tackle pliers. Yeah. Here comes the fun part. You wrap it around a couple of times. This this uh, this fly is really sparse, so I try not to overdo it with the hackle, but sometimes I just you know, can't help myself and I get carried away. So now I want to go behind the stem just a little. I'm gonna go around one more time. Just just cut. So go around behind that stem and try to get in front of those barbs. 
You kind of weave that through? Or? Yeah, I w w wove it through, through them so I could spare most of them and not come up short on one side and have it kind of lopsided. I I've got a couple of wraps on it, so I'm going to pull up the stem. And remember, always cut on top. Unless you want to get this far and cut the thread off, and then you've got to start over. So then, now I wrap back towards the thorax, that little ball that I made of dubbing. And now that I've got the head made, I've got one more little bit of stem sticking out here. Now we'll finish it. No, the upper right, right, right. Take the whip finisher, round six, six, seven, eight times. Tight in there, good and tight. You know, now it's kind of like, yeah. Tighten it up. First, you don't want them face to face. It's a great caddis pattern for when they're not taking them really well in the water.